Hi, I'm Tarina and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my August favorites video. It is going to include some things that I purchased a little earlier than August, but you know, with this being my first favorites video, I wanted to include a lot of things that have been getting me through quarantine and just in general quarantine favorites. Um, so let's get started. So the first product that I loved and I did did purchase in August, oh and please note, nothing in this video is sponsored. This is my very first favorites video. I would love to be sponsored at some point in the future, but in the meantime I did purchase all of these items myself and they are, these are things that I have used myself and love to use and I highly recommend for anyone else. So this first one is a Pikake Jasmine Candle from the brand Makana. I bought this at Whole Foods. Um, this is their three ounce size. So as you can see, it comes in this little cardboard packaging and I already finished it. So it's this really pretty labeling. As you can see, I tried to take it off so that I could reuse it um, candle. It smells like, like a jasmine green tea from the boba shop like it smells so good and that's why i've already finished it it's a really light floral smell that um anyone in the house would like my house um i live at home and there's a lot of very picky people in my home and i set other candles and they're like oh that smells too strong it smells like men's cologne this one i had no complaints it is just this beautiful flowery light scent and no one had any problems with it it was just so refreshing and such a nice smell to smell and they also sell it in I believe a 11 ounce container and I believe this one this one was $11 and the full size 11 ounce one is about 25 um, I'll leave any links that I can find in the description box below um, but this one is definitely a big one and I'll I'll splurge the money for it because it definitely is something I'll repurchase the second item that is my favorites is I just purchased this last week um, I recently made the decision to start bullet journaling with quarantine you know I'm getting a little bored wanted to express myself artistically and so instead of purchasing a planner or using a planner that I already had I wanted to design my own planner and include different you know artistic pages have like a budgeting page a spending page um, you know just different habit trackers especially since September starting so this is one that I got from Michael's it was on sale for uh, buy one get one fifty percent off, and it's one hundred eighty pages. It's kind of this like suede leathery cover, and as you can see, the first couple pages has like a table of contents, but once you go into it, the pages are gridded as so. So it kind of really helps with making any boxes or categories. It's a very organized way of doing things. So this is the. 50% off one that I got because it's buy one go and 50% off. So this one I haven't quite filled out yet. I don't know what I want to do with it just yet. Um, the other one that I have actually gotten started on is this pretty champagne pink one. It has its little book marker and then of course this binding to keep it secure on the outside and a little pen holder here. So I got started on September and as you can see so this one I included the last four months, remaining four months of this year. So I did a little kind of leopard print and then wrote a little calligraphy on the inside for each month. And then I did tape the pages together because it does bleed through a little bit. So just to make it a little thicker and that it doesn't bleed through. So here I already wrote out the grid, drew out September and some floral patterning and then had some to-do lists, goals, events, or notes for this month. And then here I have my habits tracker for September. So all of these patterns I found on Pinterest, I just, you know, did my best to copy them. I wrote it in pencil and then covered it over in pen and different markers. So like here I have drink one gallon um, to bullet journal every day. Uh, clean my room every day, work out every day, um, 
make my bed every day. As you can see, I try to keep that as pretty as I can. Um, no technology after 10 p.m. Um, I've been trying to wake up earlier and wake, work out, so by not having my phone in my hand after 10 p.m., it's gonna help me sleep a little bit earlier. Um, no spending, uh, not gonna lie, with quarantine and COVID happening, uh, my hours at my regular job have been cut, so I'm bringing in much less of an income than I normally do, and so my savings has been going down and I want to bring that back up so I don't want to do any unnecessary spending trying my best to really keep it to the things I really need and then no junk food so the last month or two I've kind of fell off the beginning of quarantine I was like oh I'm not gonna gain weight this quarantine I'm going to be the best person in quarantine working out all the time not eating bad and lo and behold I let myself go so Starting September, I wanted to do no junk food. And then these are kind of like a weekly layout. So this is week one of September. Week two kind of did like a little avocado theme and an orange theme. And then did another kind of floral theme for week three and four. And then here I was just getting started on the last week of September. So I haven't quite colored it in yet, but this is just a good give you an idea of what I could do with a bullet journal and just very custom made planner. My third favorite would be all of these pens that I actually use for my bullet journal. So these pens were purchased prior to me deciding not to spend unnecessarily. Um, so these pens I purchased all from jetpens.com. Um, it's a stationary website that I've been purchasing from since Ooh, middle school and um, so I got pens in 0.28 size and 0.38 also 0.5 and just all these different sizes and colors to help me color in my bullet journal and just express my creativity um, these two pencil holders are from Target and um, it just kind of keeps them all really organized and really clean regardless how many I have my fourth monthly favorite is called the bug bite thing. So I don't know about you, but with it being summertime and it being really hot, around five o'clock PM, the mosquitoes come out. And you know, me being just the sweetest person, my blood happens to be really sweet as well. And when there are mosquitoes, I get bitten really, really badly to the point where they're so itchy and they swell and I get an allergic reaction. So usually the tiniest little bug bite will swell to be this big and it gets hot to the touch and it like just has little bumps on my skin and it just, it looks terrible, it feels terrible. Like I have a full like hot pad on my arm of skin because my skin is having a terrible reaction. So with this bug bite thing, I saw this on Amazon and I was like, my bug bites suck. So I just wanted to try it. It's a suction based device where you place it over your skin and then you pull up and it suctions to your skin. Now, obviously I don't have a bug bite right now. <laughs> I don't have a bug bite right now, but this suctions to your skin and it, you pull it up and you hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds and it's supposed to suck out the venom. I don't know that it actually sucked out the venom for me, but it did cause a little bit of relief for my skin. And I did feel like my bug bites did stop itching and um, the itchiness and the pain, it subsided quicker. So this I definitely recommend. My fifth favorites items, several items here, are going kind of back to the candle. So the first item I showed you was that candle, and I also bought a bunch of different candle accessories. I never really lit candles before, and I just wanted to be able to smell these nice scents in my room. So these are a few accessories I got from Amazon. So. This first one is a candle snuffer. So a lot of um, sets on Amazon, oops, sorry, I'm shaking. Um, a lot of sets on Amazon have all three of these things together. I just chose to buy them separately for some reason. And so this is a snuffer. So it's a bell-shaped metal stick and you just hold it over your flame and the lack of oxygen that's going to the flame takes out the flame. So yes, a lot of people ask like, why not just blow out the candle. Um, you can risk the hot wax splattering back at you. Also, this is just a nice safe way to 
cap it and then it doesn't go everywhere. Another accessory I got would be this candle wick trimmer. So it's a scissor specifically to cut your wick once it's gotten too long. So if you have a flame that is too long, or sorry, a wick that is too long, your flame can get very large and it can get dangerous. So by having a wick trimmer, you cut that wick off and then you have a shorter wick and your flame is a normal size. And last but not least is this electric lighter. I am scared of flames and fire, which is ironic because I bought candles, but I've always been afraid of getting burnt. And so whether it be those little handheld lighters, I've always been so afraid I was going to burn my finger and I did not want that. And so, um, yes, I could have bought the handheld one that's like this, but um, I saw this online and this is an electric powered lighter. It is rechargeable, so you just connect it to the USB port and it'll charge. So you just flick it to the on and you see it lights up right there. I need to charge it a little bit. And then the button's right there. And you can see here that it lights up like that. So you can see that. So that I can light my candles quickly and without an actual flame. So it's super safe and you can it's extendable and twisty so you can just light your candle like that. And I keep it all in this little vase. I got it at Daiso. It was $1.50. In quarantine, we've all been sleeping all hours of the day, whether it be morning, afternoon, or night. At night, my family likes to have the hallway lights on just in case anyone needs to walk through and doesn't want to bump into anything. My door is usually open just because I have two cats and they love to sleep in my room. However, the moment my door is closed, they're like, wait, I want to go outside. So keeping my door open does let in a lot of the hallway lights and it's hard for me to sleep sometimes. So this sleeping mask, I got it from Amazon. The brand is Mizzou. And it's awesome because it's padded like this. So it's kind of raised off my face. And also because it's raised, it doesn't hit my eyelash extensions, which by doing that, I don't have to worry about my eyelash extensions getting crushed and it is just the softest material and it's basically blackout. So this mask was great for sleeping. I highly recommend it, especially if you have eyelash extensions. My next favorite for August is this toothbrush. It is, I am not a dentist by any means and I don't know how in, um, in line with the American Dental Association's rules that they they apply to, but I did see a lot of commercials for this toothbrush, the Burst toothbrush. It comes in rose gold, white, and black. Um, it is an electric charcoal toothbrush. Um, so towards the beginning of quarantine, I had uh, quite a few teeth issues and went to the dentist and um, they just told me I needed to improve on my dental health. And so I took it upon myself to spend a little more money and find something that was gonna really push me to brush my teeth very consistently and even after meals or as often as I possibly can. So this is a charcoal toothbrush and it comes with a detachable head. So actually something really great is I brush my teeth pretty hard. And so as you can see here, the bristles do kind of spread out. Every month I pay, I believe $7 and they send me a new head so that I can have um, the proper toothbrush top because my dental hygienist told me that as soon as the bristles start to go outwards then you need a new toothbrush or a new toothbrush head so I like being able to do that and also these toothbrush heads you can reuse them for other purposes whether it be like scrubbing in between tile or you know um, some people like to use it to brush out their eyebrows or whatnot but you can reuse these heads for other purposes so it is um, an electrical toothbrush, as you can see here, it, you turn it on and it vibrates. I don't know if you can hear that. There's different modes, so you could kind of do a more sensitive one, a massaging one. And then um, it is rechargeable, so it comes with its own little recharging stand. And, you, and I only have to charge it about once a month, which is really, really nice. And another thing I love about it is it came with this little pack. And with that pack came with its travel case, which I don't know about you, but I just find it really, really gross when people just pack their toothbrush and it's like in a plastic bag, you know, with this, you get to 
have its own special carrying case. It is magnetic, so everything just stays right in, and it's just really nice and just stowed away just so perfectly. Well, there you have it. This is my first YouTube official video, and it is my August slash quarantine favorites. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, please ask down below. I'll try my best to reply as soon as I can. And if you have any other ideas for any videos I could do for you, please let me know. I'm trying to build this platform and just let me know. Keep me entertained during quarantine. Bye.